If you guys didn't know, there's a secret Blender rendering engine. It sounds really funny, but just makes the thing look super realistic. So whatever you're doing, for in my case, I'm doing Fortnite like renders for thumbnails and stuff like that. And it makes them look a lot better. So if you guys ever notice that there's some thumbnails that just don't look the same coloring and lighting as you guys, and that's because you're using the normal EV or Cycles, which obviously Cycles is the better one. Um, I'm showing you guys how to get this Octane and all the best settings because I don't know why some people just don't like going over them. Um, if you have any problems, I'd recommend and try restarting blender that's just something i want to say to you guys leave a like subscribe let's try getting to 58 likes i'm almost at 10,000 subscribers so please subscribe i'd really appreciate it let's get right into it okay so the first thing you guys are going to want to do is come over to this link the next thing you guys want to do is go to free trial over here on the left and then go to octane render prime and then press try now now try now is going to open this page and you guys are going to want to download both of these install both of them and when once you've installed both of them don't do anything come back to this video and i'll see you guys in a second once you've installed them you'll see that you have this thing called octane server prime so you're going to want to search it in your search bar and you should have octane server prime and what you're going to do is you're going to press open now i can't do it because i have blender open and i've already done it today but it should open a little thing that i will show you guys in a second if it doesn't want to show up by the way you could go down here on windows and just double click on that and just wait but yeah it'll say octane is not activated so what you're going to do is you're going to press activate I don't know why I'm speaking like this. It's very tired. I'm sorry. And you'll see this obviously for me is all going to be blurred out because I don't want you guys seeing all that. But I should say subscribed. And that is how you know that's working. And then you can close out. Once you've done the whole server. I don't, I don't know why there's so many subs to this. So I'm I like, I didn't make this. So I have no clue why. But once you've done all of that, you guys will see that you now have a Blender Octane Edition. Now what you're going to do is you're going to open it. I already have it open. And once you've got here, you can just go to edit at the top left. Obviously, you can open any file you can make a new one or you can use an old one from cycles or whatever rendering engine you were using you go to edit and then you could do preferences and then type in octane at the top and then enable octane blender you want to make sure that the check mark is white or if you're watching this in the future and it's different just make sure it's on yeah once you did that come back down to render engine and make sure it is on octane and then i mean it's on now and then you'll also notice that now there's only three like view models i don't know what they're called but you can see them in three different ways you can see them transparent like that uh the white actual model or you can see them in color but you sadly can't do both at the same time kind of like you were able to with cycles you can only watch one at the same time so if you have two screens like this set up like i do um then you're not able to have both of them rendering at like max graphics uh so yeah you kind of have to only have one screen like that which is fine because this is where i see everything anyways um so yeah once you did that uh i'm gonna go through all these settings now and i'll see you guys at the end of the video you guys can copy all my settings here if you guys want i'm gonna slowly go down this is how i got mine to look like this i think it looks really nice and uh yeah so this is just copy it i'm not really going to talk you guys can pause it whenever you want i'll just highlight some very important ones first off obviously is make sure it is on octane kernel and then path tracing because otherwise it won't let you click on kernel because i don't know why but most videos don't show you this i don't know why um oh also really quickly i wanted to say is if you have any problems where your thing looks wrong compared to what mine looks when you enable all this stuff that is because you need to restart your blender i don't know why this this helped me but if you just press it and then reopen it it'll look so much better and it'll actually be working um um, so yeah, you could copy all these pause it whenever you want i'm not going to go through every single one of these uh, but make sure you have like alpha shadows and then this is not supposed to be at like 10 million you can make this at like 5 to 10 or whatever it doesn't matter as you'll see a second one second look there's literally nothing different it's just for like if you have little dark dots on the side or whatever like i had um they have it at 10 million but it's like extremely necessary so you can make it a lot lower like 5 to 10 um so yeah <clears throat> Uh, I'd also make sure that you turn on alpha channel. That is if you don't want a background on your character. Like you see mine, it'll have this little checker mark behind it. Or well, not checker mark, but like checkers on the background. That means that it's going to be invisible. So you're going to want to make sure you have alpha channel on if you are planning on making the background invisible and you just want your main character in the middle um and then not don't have keep environment on this you could just copy all of that you could just leave all of this stuff the same way that i have it obviously if you guys don't have any of this i i turn off motion blur because i don't plan on animating um and then if you go down here click on device preferences and make sure that all of this is like, selected um that is if you have multiple gpus now we are not using the paid version so you can't have more than one gpu to render but uh if you wanted to choose one then yeah also make sure these are all 
changed. I have this on four by four. All of this scroll down. Color management. Um, so what you're gonna want to do is make sure it's on raw. But as you can see, if I put it on raw, it is very broken for Fortnite characters. It's very ugly. So if raw looks bad for you guys, especially if you're doing Fortnite characters, you could change it back to like the cycles color thingy, and you'll see that now it is looking more normal. And you can just mess through these. You're ma mainly if you're not doing something Fortnite related or game related, you could probably do raw and it'll look good. Otherwise, just go to AGX. Okay, so that's basically it for your main render setting settings. No, I'm speaking so whatever it's called. Um, so out here we can go to output. As you guys will see right here, um, I just have it as my own folder. This is like you. I mean, if you're new to Blender, then this will be different for you guys. But uh, I mean, pretty simple. I have it as a PNG. So you want to make sure the background is actually not there. Then make sure it's a PNG. Uh, PNG is just like the easiest one you guys could do to make sure there's no background. You could just put on RGBA8. That's what I have it on and that's basically it let's continue on view layer i didn't change scene you didn't change world if your thing looks weird what i'd recommend is you press the x here and then press here or i think it's right here and then just make a new world and then go over here to environment uh as you see over here it says environment and you can change this to whatever you guys want um i personally think it looks the nicest on daylight like that as you see it looks very nice and bright you can you can obviously just change through them this looks very realistic so if i feel like making it look extra realistic i could do that or this which looks nice and bright and um i mean it looks still pretty realistic it's just very bright so it depends on what you guys are going for you can change some settings around here i don't really change anything as you guys could see because it doesn't apply for me but if you guys need to then go ahead um and then another thing i want to mention is you guys are going to notice you don't need your lights anymore so like from cycles and stuff you don't need lights it just has the environment um so yeah, that's i mean that's cool <laughs> I, I guess to say that so yeah, that's basically all the settings you guys are gonna want to have uh obviously if you guys do have any questions please let me know in the comments down below leave a like on this video please subscribe uh let's get this video to 58 likes let's try hitting 10,000 subscribers that'd be pretty cool i'm sorry i'm sorry if i keep stuttering and stuff i'm extremely tired and obviously english is not my first language so when i get tired i just start stuttering and stuff i don't know why it's just it's really weird <laughs> just ignore it um i'm really sorry if you can understand stuff i was trying my best to sound normal because that's how i usually sound i just i'm so tired bro i just don't know i don't know why i'm just i, I have to deal with like graduation and stuff like that so i'm, I'm pretty stressed out and i'm just not sleeping i guess um so yeah if you guys want to know how to import skins into blender i will have the video at the top right over here and then obviously i will make a video very soon on how to texture your fortnite skins or whatever in blender octane so if you guys want to see that subscribe with notifications just still be subscribing to help me out but you know yeah see you guys in the next one